Hey everybody, where am I flying to today? Stay tuned for another one of my adventures. Hey everybody, welcome to my part one of two of my week away from New Orleans. In this uh, part one, I traveled from New Orleans to uh, Denver and rented a car and drove down to Colorado Springs where I stayed with my family park and uh, get to see the beautiful Garden of the Gods and um, the um, Air Force Academy and just a wonderful few days. So stay tuned for that and then I will see you at the end of this video. Welcome to Denver. No snow on the ground here. That's a good thing. I'm heading to Colorado Springs. I'll be there in a little while. Here we go. quieter in my car but this is the overlook of uh, Pikes Peak in the Colorado Springs this is uh, April 1st so excited to see family and visit and maybe take some uh, tours around Air Force Academy is right over there It's cold out <laughs> and windy. With so many sights to see around Colorado Springs, my brother-in-law took me around for a few hours to visit some of these unusual rock formations and to give me a little bit of history. One of those historical sites was a tuberculosis sanitarium from 1909 to 1947. On this site, modern woodmen of America a Fraternal Benefit Society gave free treatment and health education to 12,000 fraternal members stricken with tuberculosis. In this self-sufficient community, patient care in the tent cottage system centered on individual housing, cleanliness, fresh air, and nourishing food. The site continues to be home to a community of people dedicated to helping others. As my first evening came to a close in Colorado Springs, I was surprised and welcomed the sight of some deer feeding alongside of the road. A couple of the bucks had already lost their horns, but it was so nice to see.
We're recording. Unknown woman on the trail. Okay, cut it. The best part about the Siamese Twins Trail is seeing the Siamese Twins. And the best part about the Siamese Twins is looking through the little window at Pikes Peak. Here's my sis Sherry and her husband Mark. A close up. And there's Sherry. And then there's me. I wanted to interrupt this just for a few seconds um, to remind you to hit that little red square at the bottom of the screen for subscribing to my channel. It helps the algorithms of new of the uh, YouTubes and uh, helps me to climb up the ladder for most views and you help me out a great deal and I appreciate that so much. And uh, let me know in comments below if uh, you've ever been to Colorado Springs and if you've ever seen the Garden of the Gods, maybe this piqued your interest to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful city and um, I hope you like it. All right, let's continue. Garden of the Gods Park got its name in 1859 as two land surveyors explored the unsettled land. One of the men declared it a fit place for the gods to assemble. Garden of the Gods Park, a registered national natural landmark. Dramatic rock formations against a backdrop of snow-capped Pikes Peak lush foothills and brilliant blue skies. The world-class Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center is the best place to start, with maps, interactive exhibits, and a cafe focusing on healthy options. They also have so many trails. They have horseback riding, but the drive through was just good enough for us. It was very crowded that day because it was really a nice blue sky and a lot of people were out. In
we couldn't have asked for a prettier day to drive through the Garden of the Gods. And after this, we had lunch, and that is the end of my second day. On my third day in Colorado Springs, my son John and his dad Jim drove up from Albuquerque to join me as we toured Colorado Springs together. Our first stop was a new store called Skeels, which is similar to um, Bass Pro Shops, but this place was amazing. A full-size Ferris wheel, which commanded your attention when you first walked in. This place was amazing. Two stories of everything you could ever think of to buy for sports. Here's something fun. As I walk around, how many animals do you recognize?
This was so well done. Did you see the bats? The rattlesnake? Black bear? Brown bear? Grizzly? Did you see the mule deer? Did you see the turtle? Or the ducks? Or the geese? I thought I'd pose with this bear. And then my son decided he wanted to pose. And is this a Bronco fan? Nah. They even had John Elway speaking to the crowds, giving a little bit of advice on how he played football all those years. His mannerisms and the way he was speaking, it sounded just like him. It was kind of spooky. And who would have thought we would see Abe Lincoln giving the Gettysburg Address in a sporting goods store? It was kind of funny. Our next stop was Colorado Springs United States Air Force Academy. It was a really interesting place. and John and Jim really enjoyed it. Thank you for your service, John. Thank you for your service, Jim, United States Air Force. Here's a little bit of an overlook of the Air Force Academy. Although it was snowing a little bit and raining, it was still a good day. And as we drove out, what did we see? Turkeys. Air Force turkey. Oh. <laughs> you got an answer. I used to uh, have uh, the most I thing I had for a while was 17. So Jim had 17 turkeys up on his property, and that's why he could talk to them by gobbling. <laughs> and so ended my time in Colorado Springs. It was so great to see Mark and Sherry and John and Jim. Now it was time to go to visit my brother and his wife in Portland, Oregon. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed uh, part one of two. Next week, I'll release the second part where I fly from Colorado and join my brother and his wife and some family friends in Portland, Oregon. And um, I look forward to sharing that with you. And also another reminder, hit those likes and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because it really does help. And I look forward to releasing one every week because Joe Knows Adventure, New Orleans, in, around, and beyond. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.